tell me a story of someone or uh, or 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 a class or some some uh, event that posed a challenge, but then at the end, after coming through it, the school or the person, the learner was better for it. The first one that came to mind was actually about accountability. Mm. So kids uh, have the opportunity to work on projects and do work or write an essay or, you know, practice math or, or whatever it is. And our teachers witness that work. But if a kid doesn't do it, kid doesn't do it. Mm-hmm. And we had a family, the, the parents came to us upset because at the end of the term or whatever, they find out that their kid didn't do any of the work, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, the work. And, and we were like, well, it's okay if he didn't do any of the work. I mean, he was in class, he learned something, talk, talk to him about the topic. You know, he, he participated in class and learned. Mm -hmm. So it's okay that he didn't do the work. And the parents really wanted us to come up with some kind of, not like a a grade, Mm -hmm. but some kind of accountability where there would be some kind of feedback that was, you know, and and we have feedback actually, but it's not required. It's not like, it's not mandatory. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we had to really, like we put a team of people together with kids and teachers and staff and parents to really chew on this and decide, you know, what would this do? Mm-hmm. And, and we decided, no, we're not going to set up any system mm. of accountability that looks like they're talking about mm-hmm. because it just degrades everything else. Mm. It changes the game of right. why you're going to do that work or why you're going to read that chapter or, you know, why you're going to write that paragraph. Yep. So it's, uh, and it's still something that comes up, like kids don't want it, but every once in a while parents still ask Mm -hmm. and, you know, we can say, no, we don't do that. And, and here's why. Yeah. And, you know, in your family, if you want to set up accountability systems for your family, do it, Right. (laughs) you know, that's like, that's up to you, but we're not going to like get in the way of their relationship in the classroom. Mm-hmm. and cloud that with a, an accountability thing has a punitive side to that coin that is just hard to avoid right right yeah yeah and that, yeah. that that actually points to the the one of the properties i've you know most of the schools that i've been talking to or are interviewing about have been uh you know more traditional in the sense that the kids are going there all day but but it also points to a similar property that you share, which is, hey, when people bring stuff up, we we contemplate on it. We, you know, we figure it out. We we have a conversation, yeah. and it might include parents and kids and staff. And you know, it, it could be a whole community, or it could just be, you know, this kid brought this up and he discussed it with his teacher. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, that happens all the time. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. so it's it's all about a community in which everyone's ideas are heard in some way, even if ultimately you decide against it or you, you choose not to go a path that they would prefer. The fact is you listen. (laughs) Yeah. So, so there there was an an episode on hidden brain. I don't know if you hmm. ever listened to that podcast. I don't know that one. Oh, it's fantastic. Anyway, on listening and the latest research was it's hilarious. It boils down to people feel like you've listened to them when you agree with them Mm. and people do not feel like they've been listened to if you disagree with them. (laughs) It's like, well, you know, I, it kind of made me chuckle, but yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Some new, new research that came out. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. We do have an open door on every level of the organization Mm -hmm. and it makes a big difference. Right on. Yeah. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Berg.